Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to make this NPC character follow a moving target. So now as you can see I have given this player character as the target for this uh, red NPC character which uses the uh, root motion based locomotion system. So as you can see this character is successfully following the moving target which is the player. He's not running, he's just walking. If I come here, see, now he changed his path and coming towards me. All right, so let's see how to implement this system today. Right, so, so far we have implemented this character can uh, reach to a custom point some point that we have defined in the world so it can find the path even if the character is using root motion based uh, locomotion system using the now mesh so character can walk like that to the given target at this point with this pink pillar <clears throat> right now let's see how to make this character follow another actor so I'm gonna use the player okay um, so I'll disconnect this go to function and I will not call it from the begin play and I'll define uh, another event custom event follow actor and as the as an input I'll give actor object reference like this and promote this to a variable I'll call it target actor and uh, I'll get actor location and promote this to a uh, variable let's call it target actor location <coughs> right shall we collapse these oh, let's move down This is go to actor right save this as target actor location and then we can call go to like this but uh, when we give a reference as an actor if we if the NPC is following uh, let's say another character the character can move so we need to check for that situation too so let's give a delay like one second and then again get the actor location and we can check the distance between the current location of the target actor and the previous target actor location like this let's interchange this so it's much clear and if this distance is less than let's say 20 
or 50 meters then it's fine uh, otherwise we will if this is less than 50 meters sorry 50 units I'll just I will not consider it as a location change of the target actor so I will again continue to wait otherwise if the distance is uh, if this is false that means distance is larger than 50 I'll again call this part which takes the reference node the, the target actor and again calculate the target location and refresh this go to like this but we have another problem here also we have a delay so if I if I call this function twice that uh, will be a problem so therefore I'll add a do once node here and reset only when this loop is finished so I can prevent uh, calling this loop pin part twice on top of another <coughs> okay is that all right now let's see in the begin play I'll call uh, what's the event name called follow actor as the target actor I'll give get player character Now let's see what happens. Oh, the character is trying to reach the player, but is not considering the navigation path. Why is that? Why it doesn't consider the navigation path? Path points. There is a error. Uh, maybe I think before we have a valid player character is spawned, this part is been called I'm um, not just so let's add a delay of let's say yeah, two seconds before asking the NPC to move to the player right he's coming okay he is actually following us cool
all right so yeah uh what i want to do is this this is all i want to do in this episode so i think we can stop this episode here so now our npc character who use the road motion based locomotion system can follow a moving target as well right and as always project files will be available for the download and the patron page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye